Hello, fellow marketers. I'm Brian Bowie, and welcome to another episode of Directive R&D. Today, I have a new lab partner that I'm excited to introduce. We have Brian Glassman, Senior SEO Account Strategist at Directive. Brian, welcome to the lab. That was so professional, Dr. Bowie. I'm, I'm pleased to be here. <laughs> I'm glad that you're here, too. Um, for those that don't know, me and Brian have the same name, and we go by sure. B Squared internally at Directive. So... Yeah, you can call us B squared for now on in the lab. Um, should we get that trademarked? Maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll put it. In, I'll put it in the title for the video for sure. Good. Good. Um, but yeah, so today's topic is SEO. I'm so excited to talk about SEO because a lot of the things I talk about on here are paid media or CRO related. Um, but today we're going to be talking about on-page A/B testing, on-page SEO A/B testing. And a, a tool we like to use called SEO Scout, one of our most used tools at Directive um, when running different experiments to improve organic traffic for um, web pages. So without further ado, I know Brian's going to do a quick demo for us. Uh, Brian, can you share your screen? Yeah, yeah, I can share. Um, I mean, I guess before I go into like what it is and how we use it, something that you know I like to, to tee this up with clients is that uh, you know, here at Directive, like testing is is in our DNA. It's something we always do. It's testing landing pages, uh, testing copy and ads, uh, testing calls to action, things like that. It's very important to do because you can almost always drive fresh, consistent results from from that energy. Right. Um, but you can also combat assumptions. Right. I think right. one of the one of the challenges with traditional SEO is that you can do really smart keyword research. You can have a, a really good idea of what your competitors are doing. And then you can kind of fall into this trap where you pick a keyword, you optimize a page for it, and then you move on with your life. And you never really address that again. Yeah. So like what's cool about SEO Scout, and the reason why I love it, the reason why the, the, the B2B SaaS organizations that I've worked with love it, it's because you can apply this testing methodology to SEO. Like that's never yeah. been done before in such like a concise and clear way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is a tool, as, as you know, Brian, that does a bunch of different things, just yeah. like SEM Rush, just like Ahrefs. It's kind of a, an all-in-one SEO solution for research and for topic ideation, things like that. Uh, truth be told, I like to use SEM Rush and Ahrefs for things like that. I think the one tool that SEO Scouts really got on lock, that I think is a true unique differentiator for them, are their uh, A/B testing tool suite. So the sites dashboard Got uh, it. is, yeah, it's like where we can test things like title tags. Like, did we do a good enough job adding a call to action in the title or, or incorporating a couple of different keyword variations? Uh, and right. this is, this is kind of how I use it. Very cool. So implementing it, it's, it's just a simple snippet, right? You can add it through like Google tag manager or to the website directly. Yeah, it's just like Google Optimize, right? So it's cool. it's plugged on top of the site. You don't need a developer to intervene, uh, to, to go back and forth with you every time you launch a new test every month. It'll dynamically replace any on-page elements uh, on top of the original code base. will allow Google to re-index those changes without a developer at all. Uh, and that's done through a, a simple tracking snippet that you can install through Tag Manager. Awesome. Before we go into the demo, would you say this tool is pretty easy to use and easy to pick up? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. I mean, you know, with, with any tool that's growing uh, and that has a rapidly growing user base, uh, you run into, uh, oh, I wish it was just a little bit faster. Uh, <laughs> that said, I think that's normal for most tools. Uh, and, and I think in terms of usability within the, the section I'm going to go over here today, uh, A plus. I love it. All right. I, you, you had me excited. So let's look at the dashboard and let's go through like an example, like what can we start changing out in terms of on-page um, SEO? Yeah, cool. Um, this is a, a quick kind of behind the scenes look at, at what we've been doing here at Directive with, with SEO Scout. Um, essentially what we'll do is, and by the way, this data that you're seeing, this is all integrated through Search Console. So there's a direct integration. Yeah, so like if you test something, you want to see how it does, right? Uh, right. And that's just a great way to kind of benchmark that data. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've got a, a bunch of different tests here that we've run. And essentially, just to give you an idea of, like, how powerful this is, uh, you know, we've run tests like, hey, let's remove some qualifiers like the word enterprise. Uh, let's make some descriptions to the meta description. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Let's re-optimize the title tag in hopes that it'll be either, uh, you know, a better ranking potential for a particular keyword, or it's more engaging and people actually click through the organic search results. Uh, and you can right. see here that if it works, it works. We got this much yeah. more clicks in organic search. You got this many more impressions, and your average rank went up or down by this much as a result of that change. Right, and as a result, you know. This is a whole nother topic about ranking factors, but a few that are very important, click-through rate, engagement rate on that page. So if your title tag resonates better with your audience, they're gonna stick around um, and they're gonna be more likely to click if it's more attractive and resonates to them. And that also helps improve rankings. And then those results you kind of see here, so. Yeah, it's not, I mean, SEO is not just keyword optimization, right? Yeah. Uh, I ran a test for, for Directive the other day, which is a great example of what you just illustrated where we had a blog post, a killer blog post that Jesse wrote about uh, X amount uh, of B2B marketing plan examples. Mm -hmm. That was the title more or less directive, right? Yeah. Um, within the copy of that post, however, there was this really, really great subheading that's like, here are some marketing, B2B marketing strategy examples to inspire you. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know what? I'm going to test that in the title. Uh, and see how that works and see how, that, I mean, the jury's still out, uh, but we have seen some interesting uh, increases in organic impressions, but also click-through rate uh, in the short amount of time that test has been running. So yeah, it's not just about having the keywords. It's not just about being concise. Those two things are important. Uh, but if you can be engaging and right for the human as well right. as the, the crawler, you're going to win. Makes sense. All right. Cool. So I wanted to tee up a quick example. Uh, Let's do it. I think would be an interesting test, yeah. Um, so just like most B2B SaaS companies, uh, products or service companies, um, you know, you've got a, a results page, a testimonials, a case studies page. And right now our title tag says case studies archive. Um, <laughs> that's boilerplate. I mean, that's pretty pretty yeah. standard, right? It's yeah. regular WordPress taxonomy. Yeah. But it can, can be a lot better. better. Yes, we can do better. Let's do we it. Can do better. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so within SEO Scout, you go here. This is the sites dashboard, right? Mm -hmm. You can create a new test and you can name it. Uh, I'd highly recommend using a consistent and descriptive naming convention here. Mm -hmm. So you're you're mentioning the page, the title, maybe you know what month it's being tested, right? So I might do yeah. that. Uh, and then you add the URL of the page you want to test, and I'll just grab that here. Now. Nice. With what it's gonna do is it's gonna dynamically pull in the title and description for that page, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I can tell you because this is an archive page, we don't always have descriptions for every one of those. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and populate that really quickly just so we have a baseline. Nice. Now, typically, as you know, because you're wearing the coat and the goggles. Yeah. The rule of scientific experimentation is you only test one thing at a time. Right. Um, this needs a description. We're going to give it a description. In the future, normally, I would just leave the description as is, and I would copy that over. It would auto-populate here, mm -hmm. and I would just test the title because yeah. that I know if there's a change, I can attribute it to that. Yeah. Right? So... I might say, okay, well, looking at the content of this page and knowing that our ideal customer, when they get to a certain stage at the middle or the bottom of the funnel, mm -hmm. they're going to be looking for proof. They're going to be searching for, uh, you know, SEO strategy examples. They're going to be searching for uh, search marketing case studies, uh, maybe within their industry, need to be SaaS search marketing case studies. Yep. So maybe... My assumption is that instead of case studies archive directive, we could do B2B uh, SaaS uh, or B, B2B search marketing case studies. Case studies, success story. Yeah, whatever would have maybe more volume. So maybe you can do some, you would do some keyword research first around this, but I think you might have already. Yeah, that. And I could do this. Like one of the things I like to do is just do a quick spot check. If I'm mm -hmm. relatively content, confident and like, one or two keywords that are pretty close. I can do um, marketing. This might be a little too. Let's see what this does. 
I'm pretty sure a case study wins, but pretty sure <laughs> I think it's more right. common use. Yeah. There you go. So we've just validated assumption because we're scientists after all. Exactly. Uh, that case studies is probably, you know, a little more commonly searched, right? Mm -hmm. um, so maybe I want to shorten it up a little bit. B2B search marketing case. What do you think? Should I add SaaS or not? Because we're wanting to be aligned, let's do SaaS. Okay. Instead of B2B. B2B. SaaS. You could have B2B. You could also just have SaaS, but that's not the point. But the, I like the thinking going on. <laughs> and okay, uh, yeah. I like that you can see the preview on the right. Um, and is it as simple as save and start test? It is. So you click that. Let's go ahead and give it a new title. Just going to, like you mentioned, speed, right? Something new. Okay, it's done. That's it, right? So when I open this up next time, and I may have been cookied, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. I might have to open it incognito. Yeah, and it might take some time for the yeah. internet to make the change. <laughs> it might but, take uh, some time for the internet to internet. Um, but it will <laughs> it'll appear there. It'll dynamically replace itself. And right. In a couple of days, it'll be uh, indexed by Google. The change will start appearing. And because we've got that direct search console integration, sit back and let the data roll in. I love it. And I know that... Um, we covered a very specific use case with SEO Scout, and there's a lot to do. Mm -hmm. Let me, I can zoom out here. But there's a, there's other things you can test too within the AB feature. You can test uh, title tags. Uh, you can test H1s and even yep. content within the pages. There's different selectors. They get a little more advanced. So it's not just meta title, meta description. But um, either way, I don't think we've run across too many other tools that can do this. Um, there may be other ones out there, but this is our preferred one. And um, yeah, I think it's goes against, I mean, goes back to um, the methodology of improving organic traffic and one of the ways to consistently do that. Um, do you have any tips for anyone out there considering this tool? Yeah, I think, um, you know, as I've, I've presented this capability as, as we've worked with clients, um, I think it's easy to say a tool can and do something and then immediately be lost in how to get started. Right. Uh, so kind of developing use cases is, is really important priorities, at least early on to kind of focus your efforts. Uh, one of the things I do like to do along those lines is, is I will use SEO scout uh, because let's say we're working with a, a team, a content team uh, in an in-house uh, situation and they're developing content. We're providing content briefs, uh, we can then say, all right, well, we're working together to produce really persona-oriented, keyword-driven content. Mm -hmm. uh, and traditionally, you would just say, okay, we've written a great blog post, we're publishing it, maybe we'll put some internal links, we're done. Um, with SEO Scout now, with our A-B testing capabilities, we can say, okay, we, we're producing this content, but we're also enhancing this content yep. with continued title tag testing, because we don't want to just make an assumption that we found the perfect keyword Right. And then we're going to go away. Uh, we yeah. want to use SEO Scout to continue getting as much juice out of that as possible. I um, love that. I yeah. love it. Same approach we use with ads and landing pages. And now, you know, there's a definitely a, a good use case for SEO. So, um, yeah, thanks so much, Brian, for joining us and for everyone tuning in. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And we'll, um, if you have any more questions, you can also join Society, which Brian is also very involved in. Um, go to our website to join that. But um, yeah, thanks, everybody. Hope you check out SEO Scout and keep testing. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> Take care.